Okay, here we go. We're going to do a little arm series here with some two pound weights. So I'm going to start sitting down um, and sitting up on a Zafu here, but you can sit on a uh, block or something like that. Take your weights in your hands. We're going to start with serve a tray. So you're going to reach your arms forward, with the palms up, and then pull them back, reaching your elbows behind the body. Reach out and pull back. We're going to do everything in reps of eight. So sitting nice and tall, your head over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. Tall spine, engaging your core as you reach forward and pull the elbows back, raising the sides of the body forward and back after your eighth one. I wasn't counting. We're going to keep the arms extended and do bicep curls with the palms facing you. So just keeping the arms as though you're on a glass table here and fully extending and then fully bending, keeping the elbows lifted, bringing the uh, weights in your hands toward your temples. Again, we're going to do eight reps here. We just want to keep a good grip on those weights. You can always drop the weights. Now we're going to turn our palms to face toward the floor and out toward the camera, toward uh, whatever else is out there in the world. And again, still bicep curls, just working the muscle from a different angle, so keeping the arms nice and lifted. The elbows high, drawing those weights and your hands back toward the temple. Anytime you can drop the weights and move to a lighter pound weight here if it feels like it's too heavy for your shoulders or anything like that. Shake it out, set the weights down for a moment after your eighth rep there. Bring those out, um, hands out to the side. Now we're going to do hug a tree. So you're going to bring your hands to fingertips together, like around the big tree, and open wide together and open wide. Keeping a slight, slight bend in your elbows here. You just have those two weights and arms. Your hands are at about shoulder height, as you can see. Just opening it to the side of the body and then closing, keeping the rib cage connected and the abs engaged as you sit up nice and tall. And keep breathing. Again, we're doing eight reps here. You're going to open and close. You can drop that down, shake it out. Now I'm going to turn to the side for this one. I'm also going to switch the cross of my legs. So here you can switch the cross of your legs. Take the weights in your hands. Pitch your body just a little bit forward. I'm going to shave the back of the head. You can't quite see my hands here, but they are together with the weights together behind the back of my head. And I am just shaving up and then back down. So I'm straightening my arms fully and bending at the elbows. Just pitching forward ever so slightly here, reaching up straightening and bending down. Now I'm going to do goal posts. So I'm going to bring my arms like a goal post out to the side with the weights. I'm going to open and then close my forearms and hands together like a book. Open and close like a book all the way together. Open here and close that in. Working the back by my shoulder blades, keeping my elbows lifted in line with my shoulders. Nice right angles happening here as you open and close. Open and close, keep breathing. After your last one of those, you can set it down, shake it out. We're gonna do uh, tricep kickbacks. So bringing the weights up to your shoulders and then extending your arms back behind you fully. Bend and extend. This is gonna work the back of the upper arm, the triceps. I have a good grip on my weights. Bending my arms in so the weights tap my shoulders and then fully extending the weights and my arms all the way out. So for the tricep, now we're going to hold our arms straight and just do little pulses back to a count to 10 here with the palms facing inward. Now you're going to face the palms down toward the floor, keeping the arms straight and keep pulsing. Little pulses back. Three, two, one. Now you're going to keep the palms facing down and pulse in toward your midline. So just pulsing in together and now turn the weights again to face each other palms facing each other and keep pulsing in toward the midline here for a count of 10 you can set that down and shake it out for just a moment and then turn and face the screen again we're kind of take a little stretch so take one arm bend at the elbow behind the back of the head and reach up and over to the side a little side stretch here stretching out the shoulders and switch that the other arm bend at the elbow behind the back of the head Gentle, gentle side stretch here. Keep breathing. Just take a nice deep breath into the side of the body. 
And once we've stretched that out, we can reach the arms out to the uh, side and just do a couple big arm circles here. One or two in each direction. Yep, here we go. We're just going to reverse those arm circles. Reach the arms wide out to the side. Wrap one elbow and forearm on top of the other. Give yourself a nice little hug and a twist from left to right. Uncross that and cross in the opposite direction with the opposite, opposite elbow on top. Again, twisting to the left and twisting to the right. And give the shoulders a little up down and you are all done. That was it. Pet the cat. And uh, that was a quick little weight and arm workout. Remember, you can do that with the weights. I use two pound weights. You can try three if you want to up that, or you can do all of those exercises without the weights, just creating your own resistance. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.